This is 1940 proof Lincoln Sand with exquisite eye appeal, graded as PR67 red by PCGS. According to NGC, the 1940 proof scents are mostly a replay of 1939 in terms of mintage and overall availability, but they are even more rare with cameo contrast. Scent sales always outran those of the other four proof denominations, since so many collectors specialize in this series. But the reactivity of copper coats, rapid toning and spotting, finding pristine gems will always be a challenge. This one ended up selling for $2,880. Here is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in mean state 68 condition with full steps. These delectable, superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout, and there is not even a single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink, ice blue and mint green. Simply gorgeous. The surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. It was sold for $2,880. 1970s Lincoln scent with double dye of verse, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Dye doubling on this cherry pickers variety is strong, owning God with trust and liberty, with lesser doubling on the date. Satiny copper orange luster complements boldly struck design elements with no major abrasions or spots. Eye appeal is tremendous. It was sold for $5,520. Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 66. Highly soft after repunched D over D mint mark. The repunching is clear with a loop, but may escape detection by a naked eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome, although the steps of Monticello exhibits a typical softness. This coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. Here is 1972 Eisenhower in Mint State 65 CEC proven elusive gem with type 2 reverse. Lovely golden gray surfaces are luster, satiny, and exceptionally smooth in circulation strike. Eisenhower dollar, irrespective of issue or variety. The 1972 type 2 ranks as one of the most important condition rarities produced during the latter half of 20th century. Collectors actively seek examples in grades ranging from AU55 to gem mint state. This example was sold for $2,056.25. This is 1950 S. Lincoln Centenama 68 red condition. Pristine surfaces yield pumpkin orange luster and rich satiny texture. This coin is entirely devoid of spots with sharp design elements and incredible eye appeal. An essential acquisition for the registry collector, it was sold for $10,800. 1951 Franklin Half Dollar in PR67 Plus condition. The Philadelphia Mint struck modest mintage of 57,500 proof Franklin Half Dollars for collectors in 1951. Unfortunately, most of the coins have shallow mirrors and examples with ultra cameo contrast are elusive. Also, the mint cellophane packaging was not suitable for long term storage, and many survivors showcase hairlines in the fields. This spectacular plus graded superb gem displays virtually pristine brilliant surfaces throughout. It was sold for $19,200. Here is 1974 Jefferson Nichols struck on a 1974 Lincoln set, graded in mint state 65 red and brown condition. By NGC, an impressive double denomination 6 cent piece. Lincoln statue can be seen within the pillars of the Lincoln Memorial. Across the jaw of Jefferson, on the reverse, Lincoln's beard and bow tie face south near the steps of Monticello. Portions of one cent and in Godwood Trust are retained from the cent strike. This error nickel ended up selling for $5,040. Here is 1976S Silver Bicentennial Quarter, graded as MS69 by PCGS. The silver 1976S Bicentennial Quarter is an issue not typically seen in an auction setting. Unless, of course, it is PCGS certified MS69. This top grade registry coin is frosty and brilliant, showing a sharp strike and virtually flawless surfaces. It was sold for $6,600. This is 1958 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. PCGS reported just 8 specimens in this high end grade, with none finer. This specimen displays distinctive lilac accents around Lincoln's head and the rich reddish-orange colors throughout the incredibly smooth, sharply struck surfaces. 
I appeal is just tremendous. It was sold for $6,300 and circulated 1940 Washington Quarter, graded in mid state 66 by PCGS. A coin grading scale is a standardized system used to evaluate the condition or quality of a coin. It provides a way for collectors, dealers, and investors to communicate about the state of coins, preservation, and wear. The grades range from poor P1 to perfect uncirculated MS70. According to David Holes, the 1940D is a low mintage date that has been considered a semi-key date in all grades. Much like 1938, 1938S, and 1939S quarters, this MS66 gem fetched a sum of $1020. This is 1924 D. Lincoln Cent in MS65 brown condition. Comes with CEC sticker on the PCGS holder. Iridescent pinkish rose and steel blue undertones pierce through an overlay of medium copper patina as the surfaces rotate under the light. Boldly struck throughout a very unusual characteristic of this often weakly defined date, a smooth satiny gem that makes a very positive impression on the eye. It ended up selling for $2,880. This is 1953 S. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition, vividly toned top grade registry coin. The 1953 S. Washington Quarter presents a significant challenge for the registry collector as top grade examples are major rarities. Vivid multicolor toning encompasses frosty pristine surfaces and sharp design elements. I appeal is outstanding. It ended up selling for $5,040. This is 1973 S. Kennedy of Dollar. Error. Double struck, both strikes off center. Graded as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. The color dye was not deployed and the planchette was fed widely off center toward 8 o'clock. The second strike was west of the first strike. Remnants of the first strike include the three in the dates, trust, and the Kennedy's profile. Due to flying expansion, most of the design. Is present though the tops of the L in Liberty and the ED in the United are incomplete. It ended up selling for $15,600. Amazing double denomination cent and dime mill. 1995 Roosevelt dime struck with cent of worst die. Graded in mean state 64 by NGC. According to Heritage, this satin and ear gem displays the characteristics expected of a dime struck with a scent of worse dye. The verse has only partial rim in God will trust and L in liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in a diameter than the scent dye in the dime side. The border displays minor softness of strike, principally on ES of AM. This was partly due to the dye alignment, but also because of metal flow on the planchet towards the collar to fill the unexpectedly wide scent of worse dye. The strike on the scent is sharp except for minor incompleteness on the truncation of Lincoln's bus near the VDB's initial. This true rarity was sold for $57,500. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of collecting. Have a good one.